Hello beautiful people, how are you doing? So today I want to talk about what to do if the people closest to you or the ones that are in your environment don't believe in you or they're always doubting what you say or they're always undermining you or it could be one of these things, maybe not all, some, maybe all, or <clears throat> If you share an idea with them, they're always kind of like, oh, you know, is that a good idea? Is that great? And they, they don't seem to have any trust in you or in your abilities or in who you are and what you're capable of. And, um, and it could come from their own limitations, you know, because they don't have a bigger picture. They don't have a bigger vision. They can't quite fathom such a thing you know maybe they're like how do you have in their minds or we don't know what's going on but maybe they're like how do you have the audacity to think of doing such a thing or who do you think you are to even like have this thought about creating this listen I don't care who you are if you've had a thought or you've had an inspiration or you believe in something don't let anyone else talk you down talk you out of it no matter who they are no matter how close they are to you, they could be your parents, they could be your siblings, they could be your children, I don't know, whoever it is. Don't let anyone undermine your value as a human being. Don't let anyone take away that sense of faith in yourself and who you are. We are never one thing and we are, we're never just where we are. We're evolving, we're moving, we're changing. But if we're in an environment where, con where we're constantly made to believe that, like, who do you think you are? Or you're just like this, you know, you're not. Like, are you, like, you think you can do this? You know, are you? And even if they may not say it in these words, they might have body language that shows you that they're kind of like, hmm. Hmm, you know, or they, they they say something that triggers you, you know, maybe you get really upset when they say things like that, or they're like not supportive of you, or they uh, kind of diss what your, your idea, your thoughts. You need to step away from that situation. Literally, physically take yourself out of that conversation. Don't continue in that path. Because sometimes, you know, we know, we know. If we're going to say this to this person, they're going to come back with something really disheartening, really discouraging and kind of throw you off your game. Or they're going to make you feel like crap about yourself. Like, like who are you to think of this? And, you know, it's unfortunate, but sometimes the people closest to us will not believe in us, will not see us, will not have the faith in us that we would like. You know, if you have that, you are very, very lucky. Very, very lucky. But a lot of times people will not have that. And sometimes we allow those voices to make us give up or stop believing in ourselves or undervaluing who we are, undervaluing our worth, our, um, our capabilities and our, our innate right to grow and develop as people because, you know, there's certain things you'll start at it and you'll be terrible at it. You won't be really good at it. But if you really have a passion for it, you will continue to do that thing. Keep on and on and on till you become a master at it. That's why they say we are a masterpiece in progress. But sometimes people we allow them into our spirit and we allow them to take away that faith in ourselves. We allow people's words and especially because we want approval, right? It's from the people that we really love and are close to, we want that approval. We want them to say, yes, you'll succeed. Yes, you're great at this. Yes, you're how amazing you are. But sometimes no matter what, we don't get that. And they just don't give you the support. Maybe they don't know how to, or maybe they just don't have that mindset, you know, or they've been taught to believe 
to play small or to be small or to like just be conservative about things and maybe that's their way of protecting you in some way like they feel like why should I give them encouragement for this when I can see them failing or oh, that's just a silly idea that's their opinion in their own minds because of the way they've been brought up because of their own um, inability to really believe in themselves as well or to have the audacity to dream big and I'm not saying that we will always succeed at what we do, but if we're going to allow other people to even stop us from trying, from starting, from having that courage to go for something, you know, whatever it is, don't let anyone take that away from you. Don't let them break or crush your spirit. Don't let them make you feel bad about yourself and down about yourself sometimes you've got to be your own parent sometimes you've got to be your own cheerleader i mean not sometimes i mean i feel like that's that's crucial in our lives for us to be our own like best 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 supporter best friend best love best like you you know adorer you've got to adore yourself and just accept every part of yourself every single part all the imperfections all the terrible things all the wonderful things because nobody is perfect we've all got our ups and downs and this world is i mean i find it so ridiculous where everybody's like oh you know you've got to be like this you've got to work on yourself yes we have to work on ourselves but is it like you know, is it like, I don't know, is it as easy as, <clears throat> I can't think of a metaphor. <laughs> it's, it's a life work. It takes time and it takes perseverance. It takes continuous action. It takes continuous discipline. It's not, so, it's like telling somebody, um, you know, who's never run a marathon, like, and they try and they're just like panting and they can't do it. And people look at them and like, like, what is wrong with you? Like, you can't run a marathon. Are you, what, you're so weird. Like, you're so imperfect. You're so like unworthy. You're ridiculous. Why can't you run this, you know, 50K uh, marathon? You useless piece of, you know what? You're just rubbish. That's what it's like when people are judging you for where you're at. You need practice and it takes time. So for a person to judge you as you are and not give you the sense of room to become that or to believe in your future or to believe in what you can become and not just keep you in a box you know, you just have to like say, I will not be put in a box. I will not be limited by another person's dis like lack of faith in me or their own little boxes. I will give it my all. I will give it my best shot. I will still do it. Do you know what I mean? And don't let other people take that away from you, your power and your faith in yourself for who you can be and don't don't diss yourself as well like when other people say oh, you're rubbish you can't run a marathon today like who are you who do you think you are to even think you could do it we can all do what we want even if we're not right now where we want to be be it our personality be it our traits that don't work for us be it our own self-worth whatever it is it's okay that's the human experience you're a human being you are not a machine you are not a you know like you're a vulnerable beautiful spirit and you're learning as you go give yourself a break and if nobody else will you do it for yourself and don't listen to them do not listen to people who want to bring you down, who want to tear your dreams down, who want to uh, pull you apart and make you feel small because they don't feel that 
about themselves or they in their own way are trying to protect you or they have a certain idea of who you are or they have resentments towards you, whoever it may be, people closest to you. And they may even be doing it unconsciously. They may not even know that they're doing this. So I want, there are so many, or some people are doing it to hurt you on purpose. And we're the only species who will stay there and keep trying to challenge that situation. Get up and get out of that energy. Get away from it. That's what animals do when they're in danger. That is a dangerous place to stay in or to listen to or allow it to go into your spirit, into your subconscious mind and then just pull you away from your full potential, what you're capable of becoming. It's like telling a baby who's crawling, oh, you pathetic little baby, you can't walk. You're useless. Like, why are you even trying to walk you? Why are you even trying to crawl? That's how, how unfair it is when people judge you for where you are. Maybe you're crawling right now, but it leads to a step where you're beginning to walk and maybe not so great. And maybe you falter and you sway and you try to, you know, get your balance and you fall down. That is life. That is life. Don't let any idiot mock you for where, I keep saying it, for where you are. You are on a journey. You and give yourself permission to walk and then to run and then to climb mountains. You're not limited to just crawling for the rest of your life because you can't, you don't have the, the skills at the moment. You can gain those over time. Yeah, so don't let anyone break your spirit and just walk away from that energy. And we get triggered because if you've had an upbringing where nobody believed in you or you're constantly told you were useless or you're like, eh, you're, who are you? Like you're the underdog or you're just always looked at as, oh, forget about them, forget about them. You know, uh, they've just given up on you because maybe you didn't achieve what they perceive as success in their time frame of when you should have achieved it. You know, like maybe, I don't know, maybe you haven't been successful up to this point and you yeah, everything can change at any point. There is no time. Some people blossom when at a certain time, some people blossom when they're older. You don't just like close it all off because by so-and-so age, you didn't, you know, achieve your millions or you, you weren't successful in whatever society you're in, their idea of success, right? Like in, in many cultures, if you aren't married and you don't have children by the age of, uh, back in the day, you know, when I was in my 20s, like one aunt told me, you know, forget about it. If you aren't married by this age, you don't have children by this age, you're a write-off, you're like, <laughs> you're a nobody. And I have to challenge that in society all the time because people will look at me like, what's wrong with her? Why isn't she married yet? Why doesn't she have children yet? Why isn't she like living that conventional life? It wasn't meant to be like that for me. It didn't happen like that for me. And am I going to allow that to determine my future and my worth? Is my worth... Um, in their hands? Am I going to give my vulnerable heart, my beautiful soul in, and put it in the hands of these people who are ignorant, who are insensitive or don't have the capacity to, to have the vision for your life that you do? Not everyone can do that. And if you can hang on to it, please don't let anyone drown you in their... You know, don't let them pour water over your dreams. Don't let them drown you in their own, like, ignorance. It's ignorance. That's what it is. If somebody is not willing to believe in your future or believe in where you can be or wherever, wherever you're at. <sighs> so that's the message I have for you all today. And if it's somebody really close to you, they may love you. And they may not be doing it to hurt you. They may, they, 
may not have the intention to hurt you. They don't even understand. They don't even, they haven't even begun to do the work on themselves to see where that's coming from or to even have the awareness that they did or said something that could deeply hurt you, deeply damage you, you know, but you're not going to allow it to damage you. You know, and if you grew up in an environment where nobody had faith in you, believed in you, and that, that can become a voice that you listen to as you grow up as an adult, and it might be speaking to you all the time, oh, you're not worthy, you forget about it, you're not going to succeed, you're useless, because they told you, they told you you're useless. And so you start believing that. And once you start unbelieving that, that is not true. It is not true about you at all. I don't care what you're dealing with, whether it's about who you are as a person, the challenges you face, like the negative parts of your personality or the way you react or the way you are, whatever. Or if it's about your business or your wealth or your um, relationships or you just can't handle a relationship or you don't succeed in a relationship or whatever it is. Please don't keep yourself there. You are made to evolve. You haven't been made to stay where you are. So give yourself the permission and the room to evolve. Give yourself that sense of hope that, yes, one day I will be able to do this. And even if I don't, I will die trying. I will. My last breath will be working on whatever it is that I want to do, okay? Don't give up on yourself, no matter if anyone else has given up on you. Do not give up on yourself. You're living, you're breathing, you are worthy. You are worthy of living the best freaking life you can. And nobody else gets to tell you, no, you don't. Nobody else gets to tell you, no, you're not good enough. Nobody else gets to tell you that you will never change. Nobody else gets to do that. And if they are doing that, be firm in yourself and feel your feelings. We're human, so we feel upset by things when people say these things. But step away. Don't make it an issue. Don't make it a big deal. Because then you are fueling the flames of unworthiness in you. You know? Because what will happen is sometimes people who are not aware, who are not connected to their own selves, they'll defend what they said and you'll feel even worse and it'll, it'll pull you down further and further and further. Forgive them. As it, as it says in the Bible, forgive them for they, they know not what they do. And when you use this line with people, you know, you truly, it wakes you up. You really get it because you're forgiving them because they really don't know what they're doing. Even if it seems like they know. It is only that ignorant, dark part of themselves, which they haven't healed themselves, which will project pain onto another person or this kind of attitude, you know, where, who do you think you are? Like, really? Or they'll mock you or they'll, they'll just pull you down. Don't. Do not let anyone no one no one no one do that to you no one no one i want you to right now say i love myself i believe in myself i have faith in my future i have faith in who i can become and the seeds are within me I want you to say that to yourself and I want you to truly from inside just give yourself a big hug and just love yourself. Love, love, love. You are precious. You are such a precious being. Please don't let anyone take that away from you. No. And you will change. You will grow. You will evolve. You are a masterpiece in progress. If you don't allow other people to take you off your path, you will 
you will grow, you will evolve, you will become. Keep believing in yourself. Keep having faith in yourself and forgive yourself if you messed up. Learn from it and grow. Learn from it and grow. And become aware of yourself as well. Where are your triggers? Why is it catching you? Why are you so triggered by it? Because there is still somewhere that sense of unworthiness. Because you've believed it for so long. Because people have said this to you for so long. There's still healing to be done. Where no matter what anyone says to you, you're still going to have that strong faith in yourself. And yeah, it's not going to move you. It's not going to shake you. It's not going to throw you onto the ground. You're like a rock in your own sense of belief, in your own sense of strength within you. So it takes practice. It takes awareness. It takes understanding. It takes a lot of love inside for yourself and healing. And believe me, nobody's going to love you the way you love yourself. If you truly love yourself, nobody's going to love you like that. And people in your life will love you a lot, no doubt. You know, some people have people who really love them. But they're not going to give you what you need all the time. So you have to be that person for yourself. And when you do that, you begin to master your life. You begin to master your emotions. You begin to become centered in your being. And you're not pulled by everything everybody says. And I share this with you because I work on it myself in my life. And, you know, I question my triggers. Why are you being so triggered? Why is this triggering you so much? Where is it that you need to be closer within yourself so that gap isn't there where somebody else can get in and take away something for you? Don't let anyone steal your treasures, the treasure of your being, the treasure of your soul, the treasure of your worthiness, the treasure of the love that you deserve in your life foremost from yourself and I have learned this over my life that's why I'm sharing it with you I really had to learn to love myself to the point where nobody else can reject me nobody else can dissuade me nobody else can take my faith away from me in me you know it has taken me so many years to get here and I still struggle with it because it's a journey. But I'm better than I was before. I am way better than I was before. And I was a perfectionist and I was hard on myself, you know, before when I was younger. And when I went for Vipassana, I heard my own inner dialogue because for 10 days you're in silence and you're meditating. For 10 days you really hear what's going on in here, how you talk to yourself. So be aware of your own inner dialogue and ask yourself, whose voice am I listening to? Is this my own inner voice? And you may not be able to differentiate it initially because sometimes you think, you, you don't realize it's not your own voice. It's the voices that have been conditioned into you, that have been brainwashed. You know, you're brainwashed with that way of thinking because as you grew up, you were told this, you were taught this, and it was continually told to you. So then that sometimes then be becomes integrated with your own voice. You have to understand now, the voice that makes you feel bad about yourself that makes you feel unworthy, that makes you feel unlovable, that makes you feel like you don't deserve, uh, that, that is hard on you. Like, how could you be like this? Why are you like this? Why can't you get this straight? Why didn't you do it right? Why don't people like you? Why don't... That voice is not your voice. It isn't. Because little children, they're so pure. They're so innocent. They expect everyone to love them. Because that's their experience. They know that they are pure love. And as we grow up, the voices of the world, the voices of sometimes people closest to us will convince us of all these things. So I need you to separate. Your voice is that voice of belief and love. That voice of criticism and of constant harsh judgment 
or the voice that will make you feel bad about yourself is not you. It, it is not you. That is not your natural state. So that is the way to decipher whose voice is it and start changing your dialogue within every time you find the need to criticize yourself. And this doesn't mean become like a complete fool and just be like, I'm amazing, take it or leave it, you know, and be obnoxious in this world. No, I don't mean that. I mean, be kind and loving to yourself and listen to the better part of you, not the voices that you've acquired over the years, your parents' voice, your they, because they're all human as well. And they're all also subject to their own ignorance, their own upbringing, the things that they haven't sorted or healed within themselves. And so they, they, they transfer it to you. But at some point, you've got to wake up and you've got to say, no, I'm not going to let this become a part of my lineage, my heritage, my uh, <clears throat> what I leave behind. I'm going to change this now. I'm not going to pass it down to the next generation. It doesn't, like, regardless of whether you have your own children or not, in your family dynamic, you can shift that to something else, to something better. And that dialogue doesn't need to continue for the rest of your life. Change your dialogue. Change your life. Change the dialogue within you. Change your life. Instead of, like, what are you going to lose, my darlings? In this life, we have a certain amount of time. Wouldn't you rather be your own best friend and support yourself and succeed or at least keep working at succeeding? What does success mean? Truly loving yourself, truly feeling a sense of worth, a sense of belonging within you. You've got to belong in you. We're always trying to belong outside, but belong first in you. <laughs> Love you, accept you as you are belong feel completely and totally at home within yourself no matter what in your body in your spirit this is your home feel at home there and when you feel at home there you're not going to be desperately trying to get approval from other people you're not going to be desperately trying to grab attention because you don't feel good enough within, okay? So hang in there. If you're experiencing something like this, this is my message for you. Don't let it break your spirit. Don't let it crush you. Don't let it pull you down. Pull yourself up. Bring your love up for yourself and say, I love you. I love you, you're amazing and I believe I believe in you. I believe in your, your evolution. I believe in who you are. I believe. And I have faith in myself. That's what you need to do. Okay? So I hope this helped you. I hope you shifted from where you were if you were not in a good state or you didn't feel worthy or you felt bad about something somebody said to you about you. I hope this helped you, my lovelies and that you have claimed your own beautiful innocence again, your own worthiness, your worthiness to be loved, to succeed, to, to aspire towards the future that you dream of, no matter where you're at. Yeah, that's what I hope, okay? And if you enjoyed it, I'd love to hear what you got from it. I'd love to hear what you received from this and how it shifted you and um, how you are gonna work towards truly owning your own life and owning your worthiness and being completely and, and wholly and solely one with yourself and in love with yourself because you are beautiful. You are a miracle and yeah, I see you. I see you. <laughs> Take care, my lovelies. Take care, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.